So Tom, a moment ago you, you had said that uh, you were a student of the um, 60s and 70s. With that being said, how did the video clip of the bombs going off, you know, what did you think about that and, and, and how do we get there to that point of that type of glorification from, I mean, I, I can, I was a kid, a small kid seeing the signs make uh, peace, not war, or make love, not war, that type of a right. thing. It's a long trip from what we believed in the 60s and 70s to what we're looking at today. A long trip. Um, people have, I believe, I, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of the science guy, all right? I, I believe in evolution, I believe we evolved from animals, and I think that some of the same traits that permitted us to crawl out of the jungles are getting us in trouble today. Mm. Mm. Okay, so um, we have a tendency, when you're in the jungle, it might be a good idea if you've got a small group that you really fight for and you want to be part of and anybody else that's around, you want to keep them away. But those kinds of traits, those kinds of feelings, those kinds of instincts, when you bring them into modern society, those become basically things in which, okay, I hate all blacks. I hate all things that aren't the same thing as me. I only am going to protect my own, all right? And those things right now are putting us into a state in which they actually threaten the very existence of the entire human race. We no longer, if you have, if, if you think if you're a critical thinker, if you're a scientist, that's kind of bad, you know. I don't want to hear about global warming because I, don't, I only want to worry about my profits in the next 10 years. Never mind that North Carolina's outer banks are going to sink into the, into the ocean because it's rising. I don't want to think about that. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be bothered by that. And so we almost are in what some people call the cult of ignorance. You know, we, we, it's almost like we're proud of it. Oh, I don't know, uh -uh, don't. Stay away from those guys that want to be critical thinkers. That's not good, you know. And for, and we have so many different kinds of religions. Uh, Christianity, there's some, something like 35,000 sects of Christianity. I used to kid my friends that most of those sects think that the other ones are going to go to hell. And I said, well, you know, there are not going to be very many people in heaven if, that's really the, if, if, if that really is the case. But it, it, we're almost down to the point where anything that's different from us, whether it's Republican or Democrat from a political point of view, or whether it's Christianity, Islam, or some sect of Christianity, if there's any difference, those are the bad people, you know. And this is at a time in the world when we really need to come together. This is, this is a time when you really want, there, there was a person that once said, and I kind of grabbed a hold of this thing, it's not my original thought at all, but the earth is but one country and humankind is its citizen, are its citizens. And I think that's what we have to get to. We have to start thinking about that this is, this blue globe that we're on we're all in this together, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I wish that we have some foreign, really something from outer space that would go threaten the Earth because maybe it would coalesce mm -hmm. the human race to <laughs> act in unity for once. Well, you know, but let me follow up on something here. Uh, you know, also, it's one of those clips that, that I sent to you was one about, it was a, it was a C SPAN clip. And uh, they were talking about the uh, 50th anniversary right. of the Voters' Rights right. Act, and and uh, and some of the people who were commenting were saying that uh, uh, you know they, they they were Caucasians and they were saying that they felt discriminated against right. because of the I guess the progresses that blacks have made and how the focus was on them what have you. 
how, um, I mean, you know, it doesn't take, you don't have to be that old to see the both sides of what they're saying there. I don't begrudge the way they feel. They may actually feel that way. But you have to critically look at what they're saying. I mean, I've lived my life, my entire life as a white person, okay? I can't remember a time when I was, quote, discriminated against because I was white. I'm in an interracial marriage. I guarantee you, I know I, we have some very good experiences and we've had some very bad experiences, so I understand what discrimination feels like, but as a white person, I don't feel I was ever discriminated against. Perhaps somebody thinks that, well, because uh, a minority had preference over some hiring practice or something like that, maybe they felt that, in a, in, that that was some form of discrimination. But I feel like when you have had injustices for so long that as a country it's important that we help address those injustices and to give a person a step up that has been subjected to so many wrongs. I see nothing wrong in that. I respect the, if the people want to feel like they're being discriminated against, bring evidence. Okay, show me how you were discriminated against. I just candidly, as a white person, I just, I can't relate to it. A few months ago, the governor of Indiana decided to reform the education system, and he decided to break away uh, from the national core of classes that you, that you have to take in order to graduate high school. So he said, hey, we can, here in Indiana, we have a, we can put this together ourselves and come up with something better than the, na better than, than the nation. Now, I noticed that under his leadership and, the, and his predecessor, uh, Miss Daniels, most of Fort Wayne history has been taken out of history books, or at least it's been watered down and you know diluted to where anymore here in Fort Wayne nobody knows who Chief Little Turtle is, you know, or or his significance, and it's not in the history books. So therefore, Indiana is going to be equally as illiterate as people in Fort Wayne. My question is, is uh, why has Little Turtle and the importance of Kikianga been watered down and almost taken out of history? When I was in school, they actually, I can remember them actually talking about Little Turtle and Kikianga. And right. by the time that my children preached school, it almost all had disappeared. You know, it almost had all disappeared. And I think, to me, this is just, history has to be spun in the direction of the people that are in power. And the people that are in power, Mad Anthony Wayne was the big hero, okay? And the folks that came out here and conquered Indiana and got rid of those savages and all this, those are the important people. And they've made heroes out of them. And when you go back and you read Indian history, real Indian history, you find out that America was influenced, our government, our constitution, elements of our constitution came from basically Indian law. You know, there's been so many places that it's been touched, and yet you cannot go find that in a history book. Why? Well, because we need to make the founding fathers to be the important folks. You know, and I think you gentlemen really had an excellent discussion here just a little bit about it, about, you know, this is the gang thing, okay? Once again, the white gang wants to write the history, and the history simply excludes those people that they feel aren't important. They aren't, they aren't the right color. They, 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 they serve their purpose of being the target of eradication. And that's the, end, that's the end of it. It's just, it's not part, they don't want it in our history books. I, I was seeing something, I, I just heard this the other day, that they're talking about how 
the uh, white slave owners were really the people that helped out the slaves. I mean, completely. I mean, completely rewriting, <laughs> twisting it in a in a totally. You would think. The engineer in me goes, "How can this be?" You know, the facts are this, this, and this, and then you go this, and it's like, how do you get there? But but you have to not underestimate the hubris of people that truly have power. And it all comes back to that because they are going to write the history the way they want the history written. And if they don't want Little Turtle in it, Little Turtle is not going to be in it. And end of conversation. You know, It's unfortunate. I don't believe that way. Other people don't believe that way. But we don't get to write the history books. The people in power get to write the history books.